Hello, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the US indices for Friday's trading, the 7th of July 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignal.com, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. And you can download the app from the uh, app, uh, Google's Play Store and the Apple's App Store. Okay. In terms of uh, the US markets today, okay, so important day today in terms of jo jobs data, obviously, will dictate. Yesterday's jobs data certainly came out on the stronger side, yet the markets failed to push higher. It certainly seems like the good news is certainly priced into the market already. Okay, in terms of uh, today's economic data, we all know average hourly earnings, non-farm payrolls, labour participation rate. So uh, Baker Hughes rig count as well. So quite an important set of information, obviously unemployment rate, average hourly earnings will certainly uh, dictate in terms of the next potential rate hike cycle okay uh, now let's look, bring up the US dollar first and foremost from my perspective let's bring up the dollar let's see exactly where the dollar is let's look at the bond market let's see exactly how they all positioned so first of all the US dollar from my perspective on the daily chart certainly is coiling now to potentially rip higher okay although having said that you do have an unfilled gap below at one two three so if the economic data certainly comes out worse than expected then expect a potential flush down to one two three so certainly be um, obviously cognizant of that. If not, if we get a stronger number, then obviously we rip higher. Yesterday's indication in terms of economic data certainly came out on the strong side. So again, take that into consideration as well. 60 minute chart certainly so does seem to be making a base. Okay, so again, watch and observe in terms of the next move. Dollar chart from my perspective certainly is bullish. But having said that, uh, anything is, is a possibility and you, do, you have to remain open to a potential uh, gap fill below, okay? In terms of the bond market, let me just bring up the 10-year. Uh, the 10-year does indicate that the dollar is going to rally. So again, I mean, the 10-year, you can see here topping out here, folks. Whenever you have the 10-year uh, bond topping out, it generally indicates that you are looking for a potential reversal. Multiple uh, topping tails, dojis, and now looking for the uh, bonds to, uh, to certainly fall. And that obviously will force a yield higher, which in turn should obviously um, indicate a dollar rally okay so again take that into consideration okay looking at the five year let's look at the five year rather than the 10 year and let's just look at it from a daily chart perspective first of all again indicating resistance looking for a reversal four hour chart clearly looking at it putting out putting in a potential top okay looking top heavy looking looking top heavy looking to potentially reverse okay okay so again, looking to reverse, looking for a HNS formation on the five year. Once you have a HNS formation on the five year, you know that the bond yields are going to start to, uh, well, the bonds are going to fall, bond yields are going to rise, and the dollar is certainly is set to move higher. Especially given the uncertainty as well on the fear, the police shootings in America, uh, obviously that certainly is adding to the fear and the uncertainty as well. Brexit concerns, bank concerns, economic data all weak, German exports weak, so. Everything is indicating towards a dollar rally, okay? Dollar rally, uh, bonds certainly positioned that way, dollars certainly positioned that way, and then obviously we all know if you are talking about rate hikes, that will hurt the equity market as well. Now let's talk about the equity market, folks. Daily chart, the S&P 500, clearly seeing you into that diagonal trend line. The gap above remains unfilled. There's no real catalyst to propel it higher with the Asian markets weaker overnight, US markets weaker yesterday, and European markets initially uh, certainly caught a bounce, but now starting to weaken again okay so again you s p 500 into resistance and certainly looking to move lower with the strength of the dollar moving higher you have an unfilled gap below at 2035 so be cognizant of that so you can certainly see a potential flush occurring here okay down to that 2035 zone okay again uh, u.s indices will come under immense pressure given the police shootings of uh, five uh, police officers being shot uh, by uh, these uh, individuals that Obviously, injustice has been done to them as well with innocent uh, black African Americans being shot uh, disproportionately. OK, so uh, again, it's, it's it's a very, very um, uh, sensitive topic, but one that certainly needs to be addressed. OK, so again, that will certainly bear, be a negative factor on the markets. In terms of the Russell, let's bring up the Russell for you. Russell, again, diagonal trend line, doji candle yesterday, unfilled gap below. So certainly looking for a potential move lower. Uh, the 60-minute uh, chart certainly hasn't put in a higher high, it's put in a lower high. So a series of lower lows and lower highs that persist. And then next one, obviously, you have the gap fills below. So again, certainly something to consider. 
In terms of the Nasdaq, let's look at the day day Nasdaq chart, 10 minute chart, had a HS formation looking to potentially move lower. The, the, the head was at 4470, the neckline was around 4430. So you're looking for a 40 point drop. So you're looking towards down to that 4390 zone below. Okay, so looking for the falls at 4390 zone below. That's the zone that we focus on. Okay. Right, so the Nasdaq certainly remains weak as well. 60 minute chart, you can see we're into gap fill resistance. Very unlikely for the gap above to close given the uncertainty and the fear from the Eurozone, etc. Certainly will, uh, will, will weigh, okay, uh, in terms of the price action daily chart. You can see gap fill resistance as well in the Nasdaq. Okay, uh, the actual VIX is probably the biggest factor here to consider, folks. VIX, as you can see in the daily chart, is into gap fill support horizontal support looking to potentially move higher with the VIX setup I like this it certainly seems that uh, risk uh, aversion is going or risk off is going to increase and you are going to see one hell of a rally okay uh, in in the VIX and, and, a, and a massive sell-off in equities okay and it certainly is already uh, set up as well with the oil price crashing as well copper crashing uh, you can certainly see fear on the increase etc so again uh, uncertainty, fear, weak economic data, everything is on the increase, okay? Everything is indicating lower, okay? Right, I think that's a summation. In terms of, uh, uh, you, be sure to visit cfds.com and certainly take advantage of that potential uh, cash bonus offer. And uh, I wish you a prosperous trading day and good luck with NFB. Goodbye now.